Hi everybody, welcome back to Matt Sally TV. Today we're going to be looking at military recruitment adverts. So these are the adverts and ad campaigns that are trying to entice people to join that country's military. I find them very interesting because joining the military is one of the bravest decisions that someone can make. It's a profession where you can lose your life. People have to be very brave and I guess there's a lot of different reasons why someone would join the military but these are videos and films that are trying to get people to make that decision so I'm very interested to see what these are like for different countries so we're looking at four different countries to do it today Bangladesh, the USA, Pakistan and India four of the biggest militaries in the world uh, and I'm interested to see the differences or if there's any similarities let's watch these first we've got Pakistan What's up, Potter? What's up, Clubber? Stop This is the Air Force for Pakistan. Stop! One thing I was going to say is that you can hear the music starting there. And I think actually music is important in these types of adverts. You can already hear those like violins and it sounds very operatic. It has to be very uplifting and motivational and powerful to get people really pumped up and to get them feeling like they want to join uh, the military. So it's an interesting start on that respect. You hear those violins. We have a vision to be among the most respected air forces of the world through our core values integrity excellence teamwork we will achieve our mission that is to provide in synergy with other services the most up and already you're seeing them setting out their aims and what they want to achieve so it's like setting those expectations for potential soldiers and uh, personnel is getting people like excited of what they can actually add to this military. Mission assured and cost effective aerial defense of Pakistan. We did it before, we are doing it now, and we will be doing it for the times to come. We are Pakistan Air Force. You can hear that music pick up there so as they were setting out their aims and what they want it was kind of just building to that higher crescendo and then it just goes into this action i think it's important to see these action shots as well of these aircraft and to see the excitement of what people could potentially become part of these uh, flying these airplanes uh, but you hear the music it's so important Great shots of the, the jets and the aeroplanes. I think pilots in the military always look so cool, so slick. Well, and it's important there you can actually see females as well, so they're obviously trying to get males as well as females. And what I like is they're also showing the other disciplines that you can take up. So it's not just flying airplanes, there's also engineers, medical, there's uh, actually on the ground soldiers, even when you join the Air Force. And here you see in the classroom, you see they're actually learning, they're getting knowledge as well as the action. So it's shown quite a lot. Fire, fire services too. Well, we've seen them standing so proud. This 
Okay, they all look like movie stars. Like that slow motion with the plane flipping. Pakistan Air Force, a symbol of pride for the nation. Okay, that was really cool. So I think that's what you expect when you think of a recruitment ad. You see some great action uh, of the airplanes and even the soldiers. Uh, you see them very proud. The advert sets out what the Pakistan military is looking to achieve. They've got high targets and they're looking for people to be a part of that as well. So that's a great start from Pakistan. Let me know what you think about that one. Okay, now we're going to look at the US Army and their campaign is called Emma the Calling. Well, they're using some like animation technique as well. The animation actually looks quite cool. And already from the start, you can see they're targeting male and female. This is the story of a soldier who operates your nation's Patriot Missile Defense Systems. It begins in California, with a little girl raised by two moms. Okay, so already I think who they're actually trying to target is maybe minorities and people in different situations from normal rather than just going for the normal male soldier. Uh, they're talking about two moms here, so I think they're looking at getting people that are in kind of different situations from the norm. Although I had a fairly typical childhood, took ballet, played violin, I also marched for equality. I like to think I've been defending freedom from an early age. When I was six years old, one of my moms had an accident that left her paralyzed. Doctors said she might never walk again. But she tapped into my family's pride to get back on her feet, eventually standing at the altar to marry my other mom. With such powerful role models, I finished high school at the top of my class and then attended UC Davis, where I joined a sorority full of other strong women. <laughs> but as well okay, so I don't think so far in this ad it's really shown the reality of the military. This is more about the background of this very specific type of person or this person. And I don't know how much this will actually relate to the majority of people. Seems very niche what they're actually targeting. They're targeting a very specific type of person. And then in these ads, I don't think they should be focusing on too much this one type of person. It should be more what the army can actually provide to everyone, uh, the, the benefits. And this is not showing any action. It's not showing any of the re reality of war and that sort of thing. So quite different so far. Graduation approached, I began feeling like I'd been handed so much in life. A sorority girl stereotype. Sure, I'd spent my life around inspiring women. But what had I really achieved on my own? One of my sorority sisters was studying abroad in Italy. Another was climbing Mount Everest. I needed my own adventures. My own challenge. And after meeting with an army recruiter, I found it. Okay, like, I'm not too sure how you can compare climbing a mountain and doing these other activities to actually joining the military. The military seems more important to me and uh, yeah, it seems quite a strange angle that they're going at here. A way to prove my inner strength and maybe shatter some stereotypes along the way. I'm US Army Corporal Emma Malone Lord. And I answered my calling. OK, 
Okay, man. I'll be honest, I actually expected more from the US Army. Like, the US Army have a reputation as being one of the fiercest in the world, one of the most well equipped. They're actually actively involved in wars all the time, it seems. This doesn't seem to set expectations of what life is going to be like. This is, seems a bit more just uplifting and not the, what the reality of what people are going to be, uh, the situations that people that are going to be in. Uh, the, even the like a animation, it's nice animation, but it's very, too bright and like, I'm not saying it should be darker, but it should be setting the correct expectations in this, talking about two moms and this, this sort of thing. It seems a bit too much like they're going for that sort of woke approach or angle. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think about that one. Is that what you expected from the US Army? What do you think about this? Okay, next we're going to look at the Bangladesh Army Recruitment Ad. If you hear that music starting to come in. Like the sun, then break the limits to set new ones. Determination is not to concede defeat. The sky is not that far away. Okay, already with this one, again, you hear the music already is intense. Uh, you've seen the shots, which I think is interesting, of the soldiers all with other people. You see them here in action, all doing their drills together. And that's one of the big reasons why people join the military is how to have that camaraderie with other people, to have that teamwork, to be part of a team and be part of a group. And this is already setting that out so early in uh, the video. I think that's important. The big stuff, the tanks, the choppers. If your movements are vigorous, sharp. Again, I love this one already. You see the intensity is building throughout the advert. Things are getting bigger, getting more impressive. Uh, and you see these like action shots, like in the dark, very well directed. You can certainly surpass the surprises and determinations one by one. Whoa, that was impressive. Seeing the paratroopers now. This is what you want from an army recruitment advert. Whoa. Should do better life at Jumnala. We fought for our motherland. We fought for freedom. Again, perfect with the music. Suits this, uh, these shots so well. But this is like a movie. You see these action shots? So much equipment, so many tanks, aeroplanes. It's very cinematic. Uh, it's a very powerful uh, advert so far. So many soldiers there. Showered in this glory, this makes you want the to new join the army. Must be crossed to brace yourself for the dream of victory. Join Bangladesh Army. Okay, man, that was excellent. That's the perfect example of what an army or military recruitment advert should be. A lot of great action, a lot of focus on the people, the soldiers, and what situations they're going to be in. If you compare this to the US Army advert, it's like 
so much better. This is exactly what you want to see. This makes you want to join. People that want, are thinking about joining the army, from this they can see what's expected of them, they can see the action, the excitement, uh, and the great aspirations of the Bangladesh army as well. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. And next we're going to look at the Indian army. And I think this is actually a compilation of different adverts, so we can just see some different adverts and see how they compare as well to others. The most advanced technology firm in India. So it's already very high tech. To be the country's best construction oh. company. The best construction company. And its biggest logistics operator. That's true, that's true. It is India's first cellular enterprise. India's finest hospital group. Oh, and before we forget, India's largest network of educational institutions. Whoa. So already they're setting out some great facts of how their logistics, education, different parts of the army are the biggest employers in India. Uh, and it's already really focused on the high tech and advanced nature of the Indian army. It's very impressive to start. One of the 10 largest employers in the world. Whoa, one of the 10 Over largest. 1.2 million colleagues. More than 20 diverse career disciplines. We are India's most exciting workplace, and we are making you an offer. Wow, this is so good. This is it. This is probably the best one so far. They're really like straight to the point with some amazing facts. One of the biggest employers in the world, over a million colleagues. They really want the potential uh, personnel to be part of something huge. Uh, and uh, these are things I'm just learning about as well. It's great to know uh, and very impressive. The Indian Army, live a life less ordinary. Which organization wants you to jump off a plane with a stethoscope? Wants you to build bridges where there are no roads? Safeguard sovereignty with the smallest spanner and the largest guns? Which firm lets you play at work? Gives you a 55 crore car to drive and makes you CEO <laughs> on day one? With Again, this is so cool because they're using footage from the previous one so it's kind of mix and match from the previous ad but actually they're adding a lot more facts and a lot more context to the previous advert so just adding more value to the potential candidates uh, it's a really interesting play on the first advert uh, i like what they've done there which employer takes care of you for life educates your children educates you who wants to put the world at your feet get all this all the way here has offices here, 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 and here. That is so interesting, so cool. To do this, this, and this. Teaches you the value of life, respect, honor, and pride. Which organization wants you to be everything you want to be? I think I want to join the Indian Army now, man. This looks amazing. And we are making you an offer. The Indian Army, live a life less ordinary. Okay, man, again, very good. I love that part when it's shown the different offices, like in the ice, the jungle, different terrains. Uh, I'm saying about educating them and their families, really. Showing how much they're giving to their people, giving everything to the candidates. Uh, really enjoying these so far. Yeah, I want to join the Indian Army. It looks like a great place to work. strong. I like solving problems. Facing an enemy at a higher position is a problem. Being two points down is a problem. And the bigger the problem, the sweeter the victory. What do I like more? Going to battle or firing my pistol? I like the fact that I do both for India. We are India's most exciting work. Really cool. and Getting a you an offer. The sort of army. example of one person's role in the army. Uh, I really like cards. So just and this is cool actually you've seen the different jobs that people can do in the army or the different roles. It's got 14 wheels and quite the ground clearance. It can go pretty much anywhere. 
but it's not the easiest thing to park. <laughs> the acceleration is decent, the handling is shaky, the engine noise is deafening. AC, <laughs> well you can't have everything, <laughs> but you know what, I love the gun. <laughs> I love the gun. And we are making you an offer. No aircon, but you have a big gun to shoot man. That, that <laughs> sounds exciting as well. The Indian Army live People think techies are chained to their desks. Not me. I run UAVs. You know, drones. I have to say, it's pretty awesome. I grew up playing video games. And who would have thought that'll help me defend my country? Not my mom at least. We get there first. <laughs> this is getting good humor as, as well as good action. The rest of the team. We go everywhere, working with the latest and the best technology. But no Facebook. We are India's most exciting workplace, and we are making you an offer. The Indian Army. Live a life less ordinary. These days, it's important to have an updated resume. Special Forces. Years mine. Prafal Kumar. Major Prafal Kumar. Para Special Forces. Three years uh, in the hostile zone. Tough assignment. Special Service in JNK. Made some friends there. Combat Freefall Specialist. Willing to shed blood. As you can see, I wear my heart on my sleeve and my resume on my uniform. Which other company lets you do that? We are India's most exciting workplace and we are making you an offer. The Indian Army. Live a life less ordinary. Okay, man. I, I love those Indian ads. They're so good. They're very punchy, straight to the point, straight to big facts. I like how they added a bit of humanity to the end and showed individual people's stories. It makes you empathise with them, and it, that, I can imagine that would make people enticed to join when they see real people talking about their job and putting it in a humorous way, actually, making it very interesting and funny. I uh, love those, I love the editing, it was quick, punchy, a lot of good action, very well directed, good music, uh, so yeah, I love all of, I mean, India, Pakistan and Bangladesh were exactly what I would expect from a good military recruitment ad, the US one was just out of there, I'm not too sure what they were thinking about with that one, but let me know what you think about each of them, what do you think about the what are the positives and negatives from each video? Do any of them make you want to join the military? Tell me in the comments, I'm very interested to know. And uh, tell me if you want me to watch military uh, recruitment ads from any other country. Thanks.